Let's go, I'm live. Guys, the live today is gonna be amazing because I'm gonna blow your mind. Today we are gonna talk about what are the secrets of really healthy people? Why those people who are really healthy, they are not struggling to lose weight, they are maintaining, they are sustaining their results because they know exactly what they need to do. Exactly. So that's what you guys will learn today because get ready because you will need pen and paper. There are many things that I'm gonna tell you because if you apply tomorrow already, you're gonna wake up tomorrow, if you're gonna apply, you're gonna change your behavior and you're gonna be closer to the results that you expect, that you are struggling with. If you decide, if you stay with me until the end because I'm gonna tell you the details, okay? What those people are doing, right? So who is here? All right, Chris here. Who else, who else, who else? Peña, Claudia Peña, Jessica. Guys, tell me, where are you from? Tell me where you are from. How's it going, how's it going? So check it out. Many people are struggling nowadays. So let, let me know if you guys can hear me. You guys can hear me clearly, right? It's clear? So one important thing. There are many people, like in life, you see, maybe that can be your friend, for example. They maybe can be someone in your, in your, like, in your job. And then you always see that person say, this person eats that, and this person is like fit. Ah, that person has so many problems in her life, but she, she is super strong. She's always happy. Why? I, I, I don't understand like that. And because I, I don't have even her problems, and I struggle like crazy. I feel sad. These people, this person, this person even don't, don't have money. This person doesn't have money properly, and she's happy. That's crazy. And then you keep wondering, like you keep asking yourself why some people are super healthy, mentally, physically strong, like really strong, emotional, something happened, someone died or someone is really sick in her family, but the person is happy. The person is not happy in this case, like strong, mentally, emotionally strong. What are they doing? What's the, the strategy that they are doing that you can apply as well? We are going to talk about that. So first of all, guys, let me know uh, where are you from. I want to know. There are many people and I want to know where you are from. Toronto, Ottawa, Canada, Melbourne, Australia, California, US, Sydney, Australia. Many, many, many. Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anna is here. How's going, Anna? Amazing, guys. Florida, Florida. That's awesome. Guys, check this. Now it's time for you to blow your mind so that, now it's time check this out take pen and paper now i'm here in front of my computer because i put all the the topics for me to remember check this out the first thing that make people really healthy those people who are really healthy what are the the, the main thing that's the first thing that i'm gonna tell you that are making them really healthy mentally they have problems, but they stick to it. They, 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 they don't lose motivation. They keep the consistency, right? What those people are doing, the first thing is the environment. The environment, but not only physical environment. I'm talking about all the environment. We, you have your internal environment, your external environment. You have like a, a physical environment. You have the virtual environment. Here, me and you, we are in a virtual environment. So, the really healthy people, they change the environment. They know exactly how, what's happening around the environment. Check this out. Now it's time for you to go crazy. One paper, this like, guys, pay attention to this. This is gonna be the most important thing. One paper from 2007 uh, that was published in the uh, New England Journal uh, of Medicine. They did the research, they got the data from more than 12,000 people for 32 years. For them to see the influence, if your friend becomes obese, what's the probability that you be, can gain weight because of your friend? What are the, what's the probability of you gain weight because of everything that's around you? They did this research and this data they got from, for 32 years with more than 12,000 people. Check what they found out. Check this out. Like, stay with me here. Stay focused. If your friend becomes obese, 
you increase the chances of you gain weight by 45%, about 45%. Can you guys imagine that? The, the most crazy thing, if the friend of your friend, like the friend of your friend, someone that you even don't know, someone that you even don't know, if the friend of your friend becomes obese, you have, you increase your chances by 20, about 20% to gain weight in the next two to four years. Tiago, hold on. So are you saying that like, like this paper found that even people that I even don't know, just because this person is friend of my friend, because of that, and be, if the, this person is obese, I'm having this influence as well. And that influence that the researchers uh, found out is about 20%. Exactly. Guys, can you believe how crazy the environment that we live with, like your work, the environment in your work, the environment in your, like around your family, family, your, your parents, your husband, your kids, all the environment, the physical, I'm talking about now physical environment is dictating even about gaining weight, even about gaining weight. Can you have, like, it's crazy, this, right? It's crazy. And then you can tell me, Tiago, but hold on, Tiago, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. But how can I change my environment? Okay, I, uh, hell, really healthy people, they change their environment. They are always aware of their environment. But check it out, Tiago. Here, I have my husband. My husband even don't care. My, hu my husband doesn't care about health and nothing like that. My husband just wanted to eat, drink beer, work and watch his games. Just that. And then I have here at home, I have my, my children, I have my kids, they're yelling, they are yelling around me. And then I have my boss every single day when I go to my work, I have my boss complaining about everything. Next to me, I have people, colleagues in my work that they are negative. What should I do? I don't know what should I do. What, I don't know what I do, what I have to do. Because the environment that I live is always destroying me. What should I do? I'm going to tell you what you should do. If you stay with me. If you stay with me. Get pen and paper. Guys, I'm going to tell you this. Now we are going to talk about the most important part. But let's, let me, uh, like, do me a favor. Go to this area here, airplane. Share this life to at least two people. Someone that needs help. Someone that's not good mentally you someone that you know that her emotions are not the best she's always scared she's always concerned she's always sad she has depression maybe it can be you but you know someone that can be in your family or your friends so go to this airplane here once you click here you're gonna see you choose whatever whoever you want you're gonna just send this live to at least two people and then you go to the comment say i sent it got it because this is important this is if you apply what i'm gonna tell you Tomorrow you can start changing. You can, you can start feeling better because those these are real. I'm gonna tell you the secrets of what those really healthy people are doing. Okay, who else? Who else? Who else? Let me see here your your comments. Many people joining. Great, great, great. Yes, check it out. Now it's time to check this out. You can tell me, Tiago. Hold on, but okay. My fr the friend of my friend is influencing me, even for me to gain weight. Okay, this paper showed that. Okay, my friend, if my friend is obese, I, I, I'm about to, I can gain weight in the next two to four years, about 45%. I increase my chances. I'm screwed. So, I'm, I, I have no choice anymore. Guys, remember one thing. You will decide if you have choice or not, because you can be the influenced person or you can be the influencer you choose you decide you can be the influenced person that's receiving that influence from your friend who who is obese right or even not only i'm talking not talking about gaining weight i'm talking about anything your friend who is negative or your friend who is always concerned fear 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 all the time you can be the influenced person or you can be the influencer Really healthy people, the first secret of the really healthy people is they are aware of the environment and they are never the influenced person. They always influence more 
because we are constantly influenced by everything around us, right? You know that. But there is like a measurement. You always need to be the influencer more than be influenced. Always. This measurement should, should be more always. You always need to have like that level of influence more and have less influence, especially something that you know that's not going to be good for you, for your health, for your mental health, for your physical health, right? If, for example, if you have a husband, if you have a husband that your husband, every single time your husband wants to drink beer, every single time your husband complains about everything, talk about paying the bills, your husband is negative. You can receive that negativity and influence him lower. He's, uh, he's always influencing you more than you is influencing him. What's going to happen? You will never be happy or happy and healthy. Never. Why? Because you are receiving more of the influence. You are not becoming the influencer. You have the power. You have the potential. You have the capacity to you get that situation and say, okay, my husband... He is having like a really poor mindset. I'm understanding now about this, so I'm going to influence him. I'm going to influence my kids here. I'm not be the victim of, he says something and then I feel sad. He says, uh, he do something and then I feel terrible and I feel stressed out. I'm going to control my emotions and I'm going to be the influencer. So the first thing that really healthy people do is they are always proactive. They are always the influencer. I, me, Tiago, me, Tiago, I'm always trying to influence everybody around me. I receive the influence from people around me as well. If my friends come to me and say, Tiago, let's eat a cake, let's eat pizza. I go and eat the cake. But why am I eating the cake? I'm talking about something for them to feel better, healthy, better as well, mentally better or physically better. So I'm, I'm always checking if I'm influencing more. You guys can do the same with your family. You guys can do the same with your colleagues around you. Because that's the way for you to uh, uh, become like mentally stronger. But check this out. The environment, guys, is crucial. The, I'm going to tell you one thing that's important. For example, check it out. Last month, I went, to, uh, that the, the, I went to an event that was in another city. I uh, bought a, like a flight, went. It was on top of the mountains, this event. This event, I paid a lot of money to spend five days with people who are extremely, extremely successful in life. Not only in professional life. I'm talking about personal life, like all, like I'm talking about everything. Like su successful people, super strong mindset. And I was around those people. My mind was like going crazy. I, it was like everything was mind blowing for me. Because I always, uh, like 90% of those people, they, are, they, are, they had something to give to me. And I was learning like crazy. The influence of them to me in that environment was huge. So if you cannot, so that's what, that's what I want to tell you. You can change your environment by changing your micro, like you can create a, a micro environment. For example... The environment here, we are here in our environment. This environment, this online environment, now you are with me. I believe that you are focused. I believe that you are not doing another thing while you are watching me here. Because if you are doing another thing, you will never remember what I'm going to tell you. When, you. when your focus is here, you're going to remember. You're creating memories. You're, you're going to create, uh, your body will absorb that information. I'm going to talk about this. But if you are doing another thing, you will not remember. So... If you stay with me here, if you are 100% focused, what we are doing here is what? We are creating this environment. It's a virtual environment. You are feeding, you are putting your attention. You are putting your attention to this environment, this subject of improvement, of being healthier. You want to know the secrets of really healthy people. You are creating this environment inside your brain. So you have your internal environment and you have your external environment. Just because you are talking to me, you are here with me, you are changing your internal environment. And that's, what, that, that's the first thing of really healthy people do. If, if you cannot, you will not, you have your husband. You will not disappear and leave your family, of course. Right? If you cannot control your husband's behavior, if you cannot control your boss's behavior, you can control 
and change your micro environment. You can create this micro environment. What, Thiago, tell me, give me an example. One example. You can wake up and spend five minutes. Uh, you go to your any place that you know everybody's sleeping, your husband is sleeping, your kids are still sleeping. You spend five minutes with yourself. So, and then you go to a specific room. You are just with yourself. Is you thinking about your life, thinking about everything that you still want to achieve in life, in your personal life. Like you are analyzing yourself. You are checking. You are always uh, giving you strategies, talking to yourself, encouraging yourself for you to start the day. You are creating a five-minute environment inside your mind. Your mind. That's what really healthy people do. They always do this. You never see really healthy people not creating these spaces during the day of not focusing on them, like just by themselves. For example, I it's a must. For me, it's a must. Every single day, I need to spend some time, even five minutes or ten minutes, with myself. Nobody. I, I, I stay far from my phone. Nobody talks to me. It's just me and myself. If I can go outdoors, I go boom, even better. So really healthy people, they have that space. They create that space, that micro environment. What do I mean by that? It means, guys, that it, there is no excuse. If you have a, a, a husband that's negative, if you have your kids yelling uh, throughout the day, if you work like crazy, you can't create this micro environment. Amazing for you. Congratulations to you because now you are with me. So you're creating right now this environment. Uh, this is a virtual environment. Amazing. So congratulations. So you should feel proud already. Just because instead of checking something that you are just scrolling, you are here with me. You are here with me. That's, that's step number one for you to succeed, for you to feel better. If you keep feeding your brain with that, with that content, right? That's why, for example, if when someone joins my program, the person is in my program in this environment of strengthening her mindset, strengthening her physical body, mental body, strengthening her emotions. She's doing all the program, focusing on increasing and strengthening her gut microbiome, reducing all the inflammation, everything to improve her health. Why? So that's why our clients who join the program, they are more likely to su succeed because they are in this environment. That's the, the, the difference when you are having the environment. So you can create an online environment. So start, like, just stop following you, uh, something or, or people, or like pages that you know that is not putting you to going to another level. News. Or your friend that always posts something that you don't learn anything. Right? Or your friend that oh, every time that your, your friend posts something, you get jealous. For some reason, maybe you had a, some, some situations in the past that you, every single time your friend posts, ah, your, your friend bought a car, you get jealous. Your, your friend posted that she lost weight, you get jealous. If you're getting jealous, unfollow the person because you need to avoid that trigger. You need to create a different environment inside your brain. I'm going to talk about how to change this because that's going to be the most important thing. Anna said, one year later, this program taught me this. Yeah, Anna. Anna is with, me, with us for one year already. Amazing. I'm super happy because of that. Super happy because we, that's the point. You are uh, seeking for an environment. Tiago, I don't have a physical environment. My physical environment is terrible. I cannot control that. But you can control your virtual environment here. Got it? And then, guys, that's the, the way you can tell me. That's the most important part of the life. That is the most important part of the life. So, it's guys, pay attention to this. That's gonna, I'm going to even... Uh, uh, Paint one thing for you to see. You can come to me and say, Tiago, but hold on. But I try, Tiago. Tiago, you have no idea. I try, but I have something inside me that doesn't give me, I don't take action. It's like crazy. I, I have the, I want to change. I want to be healthier. I want to avoid losing the consistency, but like I lose motivation. Every single time that I start something, I lose motivation. Every single time that I do something, I criticize myself. I judge myself. Every single time, for example, I look in front of the mirror. I want to tell that I'm beautiful. I want to tell myself that I can't do this. But it's something inside me that I don't feel that. that I, I don't like, it's something weird, Tiago. What is that? How can I change that? Many people, they are not becoming healthy. Everybody wants to be healthy, right? 
mentally strong, physically strong, like all aspects. They want to feel happy in life throughout the day. They want, but they, they, they can't, like they, they have something inside them that like just put them, uh, like hold them, right? I'm going to tell you what's going to be the solution for you if you are having that, that uh, uh, you have the desire, but you don't take action and you don't know why you are not taking action. I'm going to tell you what's going to, what's happening inside your brain. So check this out. Stay with me here. That's going to be the most important part. So can you guys see this? I'm going to show you something. Guys, did you bring, did you bring, did you send this? That's going to be important. Did you send this to more people? Because remember, this is, is super important for many people who are suffering in life. They are not feeling great uh, about themselves. And what I'm going to teach you here is going to be extremely important, not only for you, but for your friend, for someone in your, in your, in your family. So make sure that you're going to share this. Like, just go to the airplane. I'm going to tell you, check this. I'm going to show you something now. Check this out. You can tell me, Thiago, I have, I have, I have the desire. Like, I, I mean, I want to become healthier, but I don't take action, but I don't know why I don't take, take action. Why is that? Why is that? I'm going to tell you what's happening inside you that's making you feel stuck. Check this out. I'm going to uh, uh, just, show, let me see if you guys can see this. Guys, I'm gonna. I will not. My my design here is not the best. This is a neuron. Like, let's suppose this is a neuron. I'm gonna show you here something. Let me. This is a neuron, okay? Now you guys know. Now I'm gonna show you what's happening. What's happening inside your brain that's making you to feel stuck? That you have the desire but you don't take action. You don't keep the consistency. And I'm gonna tell you the solution. This is your neuron, right? This is one neuron. Check what, what you did with your brain so far. What you did so far with your brain. So you have like uh, another neuron here, pa, 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 in your brain, right? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to just zoom in and then I'm going to show you what's happening with each, each neuron. Check this out. This is, check this out. Can you guys see that? This is one part of the neuron right? The last part of the neuron, and this is another neuron. Check this out. Look what happened with you. When you, 10 years ago, or in your childhood, that can, be, that can happen. I don't know, maybe something happened in your life 10 years ago. Maybe something happened in your life, in your childhood, or five years ago. For example, if you do something, if you make a mistake in your work, and then your boss came to you and say, no, you did really bad, like that was terrible. And then your boss criticized you because you failed. And then you believe in that situation, you believe in that information, what your boss told you about you. And then you tell yourself, yeah, I failed. Yes, I, I don't do this right. I never do this right. Yeah, I'm always do this wrong. And then you believe, you, you criticize yourself. The moment that you believe on what someone told you about you, criticize you or told you that you failed and you are bad about that and then you believe that what you just created inside in each neuron so one neuron sent information to another neuron and then it created synapse so when one neuron sent electricity to another neuron that what happens when we when we call uh, you created a pattern a circuit you created a circuit between neurons of what of criticism you made a mistake in your work. Your boss told you that you made a mistake, that you were terrible. And then you believed and then, yeah, yeah, I never do this right. And then criticize, right? So the information of criticize yourself, you created in your brain. You just created. But if today, that happened today, and the next day, if you just say, no, 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 I'm going to forget. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just fix this. I'm going to improve that anyway. What you are, what you are creating, you are weakening. This, con this circuit of criticism inside your, your brain, in your neurons. But if you are reinforcing every time, you are reminding that you don't do this right, you don't do something right, you are, you are reminding yourself about the mistake that you made, and then you are always reminding of the criticism, and you are always criticizing yourself even more. The days pass, like, passes by, like, today, 
it happened today. And then tomorrow you think about the situation and then you criticize yourself again. Every single time that you reaffirm about that self-judgment, about that self-criticism, something that you are talking bad about you, every single time that you have this thought, you are strengthening. Check this out, guys. You blow your mind. You are strengthening this circuit of two neurons. The circuit of criticism is getting stronger. Every single time, even the US, one neuron is sending, is sending electricity to another neuron. Every single time, yeah, I never do this right. Boom, you, you strengthen this circuit. Yes, oh my God, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I, I was cooking this food and then now it's overcooked. I never do, I, I never do uh, anything right. And then, boom, you strengthen even more the circuit. Every single time that you are judging yourself, for example, you are strengthening this pattern. Guys, check this out. This is happening with everything. With everything. For example, when you are, let's suppose you have fear to something. Let's suppose in your childhood or 10 years ago, someone, someone just left. You said something, someone that, that was like, like just criticizing and then you have fear. You had fear. The fear was really small. Like you, like for example, talking in front of 10 people, someone left and then you, you were concerned. You had the fear of talking in front of people. That was one day. And then you are reinforced that what's going to happen. The same thing. You are creating new receptors. Check what's happening now. That's the most important part. Now, in one neuron, every time that you reinforce that fear of talking to in front of people or the circuit that you created of our uh, self-sabotage, of uh, self-doubt or criticizing yourself, you are increasing receptors in one neuron. You're increasing receptors. Yeah, what does it mean that I'm creating new receptors in one neuron inside my brain when I reinforce and I criticize myself? You are becoming the neuron sensitive. What does it mean, Tiago? Because I didn't understand. Guys, check what happened just because of that. Now, you don't need to have fear if your boss come to you and say that you don't, uh, you did, you make, made a mistake. You just need something extremely simple in your day. If you make a small mistake, for example, this pen fell down here. You just need something like this for you to criticize yourself. Why? Because now you have a lot of receptors in your neurons that are su super sensitive of what? The circuit that you create of what? Criticism. The circuit, the electricity of the inf that uh, carries this information of self-criticism, it's super strong. There are many receptors already, and it means that you don't need something big, a big stimulus in your brain or in your environment for you to criticize yourself. You don't need this anymore because your circuit is super strong, super sensitive. You just need a small stimulus for you to criticize yourself. For how long are you doing this? For how long are you doing this? Can you, can you imagine... Someone, can you imagine someone that's doing this for years? Can you imagine someone that something happened? For example, cake. Let's say a cake. Let's suppose you, check this out. This, this should blow your mind now. Check this out. Five years ago, you had a bad experience. Someone died or you had a divorce or something, someone in your family had an accident, something like that, really bad, that created a lot of stress, anxiety at that specific day. And then someone at that day, you created like something that was like a trauma. Someone came to you and say, yeah, uh, no, don't worry. So yes, yeah, so like, like calm down, like get this cake here, chocolate cake. Someone gave to you that specific day. What you just created this circuit inside in between each mirror, you created emotion. The hardest thing, the most powerful thing, is when you create emotion around a specific experience that you had in your life. Because it means that that circuit of neurons will be even stronger. Because there is emotions around that, strengthening even more. Tiago, what do you mean by that? It means that that specific day when you had a stressful situation, someone gave to you a chocolate cake for you to feel instant better because it was sugar, right? And then you release a lot of neurotransmitters for you to feel good. You even release dopamine. You felt better while you were having, uh, you were having the chocolate cake. 
What does it mean? You created a new circuit of neurons of when I feel stressed out, when I have pain, I'm going to eat something sweet because it gives a quick pleasure and I feel better. You created the circuit of that. What does it mean? It means that every single time, if one month later, you have a stressful situation in your work, your brain, because you have now a new circuit of neurons with this information of pain, chocolate cake, stress, chocolate cake. For example, when you have a, a stressful situation with your boss, what the first thing that your brain will give you, what's the, the, the desire that your brain will give to you? What? The chocolate cake. You don't notice that because it's super strong already. You don't notice that. And then once you go back home, you're going to think about what? A cake. There is no chocolate cake, but there is a cake. It's sugar. You didn't, uh, you didn't associate with because of the chocolate, but because of the sugar to, get, to give you pleasure. That's why many people have emotional eating. You have your emotional eating. You eat by impulse because throughout the, the years in your life, that can happen. Maybe that happened in your childhood. You even don't remember, right? But maybe that happened two years ago. And then two years ago, you were healthy. But in the last two years, for example, after pandemic, after this lockdown and everything, you feel that you're not healthy anymore like before. Maybe because everything started when you were at home, you were concerned about everything, all the craziness that was happening around the globe. And then you associated fear, pain, concern, right? Everything that was happening, oh my God, the world will, will finish. Something will happen in the world. And then concern, you were checking the news, and then you had a quick pleasure, like a, it, let's eat a pizza. Maybe you created a circuit of that. Guys, and that's why, that's the reason why many people, most of you guys, most of you guys can't tell me, Tiago, but I want, but it's crazy because I, I, I don't take action. Why? It's because now the, those neurons are super strong. Now they are controlling your behavior. They're they are controlling your behavior. And that's, that's, the, the, that's the reason why it's hard for you now. But I'm going to tell you the solution. The solution is what? Is when you are, check this out. The solution is when you are not activating this, this circuit anymore. You're going to create all the circuits, all the stimulus. You create all the synapses in all the areas in your brain with new neurons. Of what? Of the opposite, of the thing that you want to do. Ah, okay, Tiago, I have impulse of eating cake when I'm feeling stressed out. I always want sugar. When I feel stressed out, I always want sugar. I want to change this part. So, okay, you told me that it's really hard to me because I created this circuit. The circuit of eating sugar when I'm stressed out. So I'm literally carrying this information between neurons because you told me that. Yes, exactly. Okay, and then are you telling me that the solution for me to do this is for me to create a new neural connection, new synapses in other areas in my brain with, new, or another, with other neurons, giving a different stimulus of the thing that I want to create in my brain? Yes. How? How do I do that? I'm going to tell you how you do that. For example... Really healthy people, they change the meaning of the food. If that chocolate cake, the meaning of the chocolate cake for you is comfort. Because when you were stressed out 10 years ago, you created that. Now, now you give, you feel comfortable when you eat that chocolate cake. You created an emotion of what? Comfort. You feel calmer, right? Because you are eating that chocolate cake. You feel fine. You feel better. You feel a little bit happier. It's a quick happiness. Because you are having sugar. So you created an emotion in your chocolate cake. The, 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 another secret of really healthy people is because they change the meaning of the foods. For example, Tiago, change the meaning? How? How can I do this? For example, how to change the meaning of the food to keep the consistency to feel really healthy? They look at the food not because the food is delicious, they look at the food in a, they have a perspective of self-respect. 
They don't eat healthy. They don't eat the salad to lose belly fat. They eat the salad because they have self-respect. Because they know like this. Hold on. If I care, if I really care of like cleaning my house and I want to see my house really clean, I don't want to see uh, anything dirty in my house. I, I really care. If my husband, if my kids start putting everything dirt, make, make a lot of uh, uh, things in my house, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to breathe. I'm going to feel angry if that happens. I want a, a clean house. But hold on. If I want a clean house, why would I, why would I put my house inside me to become dirty? Why would I do that in my inside house? It doesn't make sense. So really healthy people, they always look at any food and they look at like a, a, a way of self-respect. It's not a way, they don't look, for, check this out. Look that the, the perspective is different, guys. The perspective is different. They look at the food, they don't think about the taste. The priority is not the taste. The priority is what this will cause to me. What this, if I do, if I eat this, what's going to happen with me? Not right now, but later. This thing here that I'm eating will make me better or will make me worse? They have that kind of mindset. The perspective is different because that's, again, because they don't eat the salad because they want to get in shape. They eat the salad because of, it's a way of self-respect. That's not, so is there, is, it's just a different way to look at things. And that's how you change the meaning of the food. Because when you, when you for, for example, if you are not aware, if you don't have that self-awareness of, that you have, uh, in, in, you created an emotion with your pasta that you eat every evening, that you created an emotion with your ice cream. I, I'm just guessing here, not ice cream, for example, but with, with your pizza. Every Friday, 7 p.m., you eat a specific uh, flavor of pizza. You need to be aware if you created, if you are doing this behavior, because there is a, 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 an emotion, emotion around that. Because maybe many people do this. They feel stressed out. Some people, they created the emotion of anything. Anything. Tiago, if I'm feeling happy, I want to eat. Tiago, if I'm feeling sad, I want to eat. Tiago, if I'm feeling concerned, I want to eat. Tiago, if I'm sleeping, I want to eat. So any, any feelings, any emotion that I have, I created the, uh, the, my emotions around food. It's like I escape. So you guys should be aware of what's happening and the emotions that you created around the food. And the way for you to change that, and that's the way that really healthy people do, they change the meaning of the food. They look at the food and say, okay, I'm going to create an, uh, 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 an experience. Remember, the way that you change the emotion around the food, change the meaning, is when you create a different experience with the food. It's, a, it's something simple, guys. Check, check this out. This is how you change. I, let's suppose I want to feel healthy. I want to be healthy. And I don't like salad. I don't like salad. But I'm going to create the environment for me to enjoy, for my brain to associate salad and good experience. So I'm going to bring my kids. I'm going to do something that I enjoy doing around my kids because I love my kids. Every time that are my kids, for example, when I see my kids, I feel good. So I'm going to create this environment here in my room with my kids. We are going to play. So while we are playing, because I really enjoy doing this, playing with my kids, while I'm going to do this, I'm going to eat my salad. So you are associating something that you want to create. You, are you, are, you want to change the meaning of this salad. And because of that, you are associating this salad with your experience that you are having, that you already enjoy. So... What does it mean, Tiago? It means that you can do this with anything. You, you can change the purpose of the food with anything. And stop the impulse. Stop the, that uh, emotion that you created in food. Uh, and not necessarily food, guys. Remember, I'm talking about anything. I'm talking about even like the relationship with your husband. The relationship with your kids. The relationship that you have with your boss. That can be anything. You can change the meaning. Right? For example, you hate your boss. You hate. Your boss is the worst. Your boss is terrible. You look at your boss, you feel already bad already. already. But you can change the meaning of that. Same thing. Your boss will not change. You cannot control your boss' behavior. You cannot control that, right? 
Zero. You have zero control. But you can't control how you are reacting to that. You can't control your behavior. You can't control your perspective of the way that you look at your boss. And then, for example, for example, when I see someone that, oh, first thing, check what I do and what you can do as well. That's the secret of really healthy people. When you say, when you look at someone saying something really bad about you, instead of you feeling angry, you start thinking with yourself, I'm, I'm really sure that this person is not, is not good in life. This person is having something in life. If you know someone that's angry all the time, someone that's complaining about everything all day, when you have that perspective of, okay, I'm, I will not be affected of everything that this person is saying because this person for sure, she's not happy in life. She's having a problem in life. Actually, I'm going to try to help this person, give an advice, give a tip because I'm, I will not receive this negativity that this person is saying to me or to everybody around me here in my work. In the work. Uh, for sure this person is sad. For sure something is happening in her personal life. So I understand that. So guys, that's the way when you look at people that way, you become mentally stronger. You don't become victim anymore. You're not the victim anymore. You're not, you're not, uh, you are not uh, being influenced by people around you. You are influencing people more. You are the influencer around people around your job you are in the you are in the you are the influencer around people in your family right so you become the influencer why because the way that you understand wow this person is super happy so she i think her life she i think for sure this person the way that this person talks i can't see that this person look at life differently so you understand and then you want to connect but other people that for example your husband your husband is negative, right? So how can you live with your husband if your husband is negative and you don't want to, to split it up? Like you, you, you want to stay with him forever. Look at his situation. Like a, a, it's like a, 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 the eyes of mercy and always putting yourself in a position that any message, any negative that I receive here, I'm going to control that. So really healthy people, they know how to handle if something happened, someone says something to them, they know how to handle that. They know that. Guys, check this out. Healthy people, they observe their thoughts to know that they are not the thought. Healthy people, really healthy people, they observe their emotions to know that they are not the emotion. Right? They are aware. They know how they are reacting to everything around them. If something bad happens uh, around them, uh, a, uh, an argument with something, and then they had like a really bad uh, situation in, in, in their job. They receive that and they feel, it's like a filter, right? Filter, I don't know if you guys understand my, my pronunciation, filter. They filter the information and they get rid of the information if the information will not benefit them. And they always become the influencer. And they are always observing their thoughts. For example, yesterday, I'm going to talk about myself. Yesterday, every single day, I do everything, all the strategies throughout the day for me to feel great. Because remember, your energy, your motivation is like waves. Like waves. There are many things affecting the way that you feel about yourself, about life, every single day. And it's like waves. For example, the best way that your neurons, that your brain, your cognitive function is in the peak is between 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So that's the, the best way for you to study, for you to learn something. Got it? So, but at, for example, at 2 p.m., that cycle is different. Now you're feeling more tired, a little bit lazy. So you, when you're understanding that, you analyze yourself, you can do some adjustments for you to feel better. I do this every single day. And then yesterday, so for example, today I'm feeling incredible, a lot of energy. I could run right now. But yesterday, check this out. Yesterday, until 4 p.m., I was feeling super energized, working, doing my stuff, super learning, many things, I ain't working. Guys, 4.30, I feel bad. I felt bad. 4.30 p.m. I felt and then I thought, okay, I'm going to study because I feel good when I'm studying the subjects that I like. 
my break is for me study is crazy i know that but i love like i feel even like i really like when i'm having a break and then i'm studying and then but after 4 4 30 p.m yesterday i was trying to do something that i like it was not giving me any feeling of like feeling good i was not feeling good at all i was watching what i like not feeling good i was walking in the park or in the in the city zero i was feeling weird and then I, and then i stopped and said hold on why am i feeling that because that's not normal and and i know i mean it's normal for our body but our body is like that it's like waves like i said but once your body is going down you need you you have the power the choice to change that and feel great again right i was not at home for example if i was taking a cold shower straight away i, I would feel good because that's a quick tool that all of you guys can do. You have no idea. If you spend one minute, I guarantee, after one minute taking cold shower, you will never say to me that you are gonna, you are lazy. After one minute taking cold shower, you never. You, you. After one minute, you're gonna say, Tiago, I have more energy. Tiago, I don't feel lazy. You will try, try it out. So one of the tools that I do is taking cold shower, but I was in the city, so that's why. And then I even said, no, I did my workout. I slept really well. Why am I feeling this way? And then. Guys, when you're asking, when you're analyzing yourself, because many of you don't analyze yourself. When you're not checking your behavior, when you're not analyzing your thoughts, when you're not analyzing what you are talking about, when you're just living on autopilot, you just say something without thinking. You just act without thinking, without analyzing. That's a situation that it's going to just guarantee that you will never be healthy, for sure. Because the real health, the really healthy people, they keep analyzing themselves. That was the first thing that I did when I felt that way. I felt down. Zero reason to feel down, guys. I have no, there is real, zero reason. I did my work, I did my workout, I slept well. And then I said, wait, what did I do? What did I miss for me to feel this way? Easy, something simple. And then I remember, mm, I got it. I forgot to have some carbs in my lunch. <laughs> Just that. So I was, I had a lot of protein, I had protein and fat with nuts, seeds in my breakfast. In my lunch, in my lunch, I had, because I had to work, I had to have a protein shake, almost nothing of carbs in my lunch. But I was feeling amazed because you know that when you are, when you are not, you are having that flexibility in your uh, metabolism. Your body is flexible of getting energy from glucose, but from fat as well. I have that flexibility of getting energy from glucose and from fat, right? When I, I, until 4 p.m., I was getting the energy from fat, and because the brain, uh, the best way that you can put your brain in super high performance is when your body is getting the energy from fat because it's more powerful. But my body complained after 4 p.m. because I forgot to have at least some carbs. Because I, it's just, guys, just because I forget, because I, I have carbs every day. There's no problem. Every single day I have carbs, especially in the evening. I was, I was thinking to have a pot, to potato, have potatoes uh, in my dinner. But until 4 p.m. I was not having any carbs. That's the reason why. Because you know, depending on the period of the time that you don't have carbs, you know that your mood can reduce dr drastically. Your serotonin, you can reduce this. Got it? If you spend like three days, four days, and then you are extremely adaptable without carbs, for example, when the person is doing keto diet, after this, it's, not, it's not sustainable. This is not sustainable. If you can do this for one week, that would be okay. Or, for example, in the middle of the day, until midday, if I want to have a super high performance in my brain, I'm going to have my carbs in my lunch time. So in my breakfast, I'm going to just keep protein and fat for me to have a great cognitive function. I always do this. I always have my carbs at lunch and dinner. Sometimes in my snack as well, in the afternoon. But never in the morning because I want to have a great cognitive function. But I forgot to have carbs in, the, in my lunch. Boom, my, my body was not adapted to it. And then I felt terrible. So guys, analyzing yourself is a secret for you to keep improving and for you to feel really healthy. Got it? That's the reason uh, uh, why I'm saying this. So check this out. I'm finished, but this, this is going to be important to you guys know. So check this out. I, I, I don't want to forget anything. Uh, so, this is important. Check this out. Your brain, this is a phrase that I put here. I had an insight and I, I, I put this. Check this out. Pay attention to this. Stay focused. Your brain becomes expert in, in, like, to anything that you teach. If you're putting your attention in anxious 
or stressful thoughts, your body will become expert in anxiety and stress. If you're allowing your eyes to look at sadness, your brain will learn to be sad. Any, any stimulus that you give to your brain, your brain will become expert. So if I'm giving the stimulus, for example, let's suppose I still don't have any desire. That circuit of neurons, I didn't even create. So it means that you, will, you can never expect to have the, 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 like, to take action feeling motivated. You will never feel motivated. Why? Because you never gave that experience to your brain. You don't have circuits of this yet. You don't have circuits of keeping the consistency eating what you should eat. You don't have the circuit of consistency in your workout. Why? Because you never created that. Why do you want to feel motivated? Why are you expecting to feel motivated? The motivation will come after you are having that circuit, right? Because you are feeding, that, like you are creating momentum. So that's the way. The way for you, the step number one, if you don't create this yet, you are always giving up of everything that you do, you start working out. After one month, boom, you lose motivation. And then you stop doing it. You start trying to lose weight, belly fat. You start something, everything right. And then after one to two months, boom. So, for example, you had an argument with your husband. That was a trigger for you to give up. So you are never keeping that. And you are, you are always waiting. You are always waiting for motivation to come for you to do something. Guys, you will never have that motivation. That consistent that's, that consistency you will never have. Why? Because you're not creating those circuits, new circuits of neurons, right? For example, I spent, I noticed myself in the last four years, I changed my environment. My physical environment, I changed. I used to live in a city, small city, and the environment that I was living, everybody, including me, was talking about something that it was always stressing me out. People talking about politics, politicians every time every time every time i know that in the us it's really is really a strong this subject as well right in my city five years five six years ago i was in this environment everybody everybody was talking about that including me i was having argument with people always having fights against uh, one politics another politics i always have this environment dangerous situation like so I was in an environment that I always wanted to change because it was not putting me to another level. And then I did something more brutal, right? I decided to change the country, right? I did something brutal. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. But you can change your virtual environment, right? You can change your, like you can create a, a micro environment, like a small room. Every single morning you have the space only to yourself. Before you go to bed, you have your own space. Nobody can talk to you for 30 minutes because you are creating your own environment. You are changing your environment with that. In my case, I decided to go brutal, to, go to, to change, change everything. And then I was full of clients in, that, in my city. It was in Brazil, Natal. Full. I was full. Full schedule. I, have, I even could, get, could not get more clients anymore because everything was face to face. Full, full, working Sunday to Sunday. And always talking about politicians, like politics, like stressing me out. That was stressing me out because I was inside this subject as well. I was studying about pol politics. Terrible. So, and then I decided to change that. Guys, what happened with me? I changed my environment. In the last four to five years, my brain, uh, you have no idea. I, my break, when I want to rest, it's for me to study about something, for me to improve. I even don't think about that anymore. I just want to keep improving. And when I learn something, and I, when I'm studying something, I want to give. But now this is happening naturally. Why are I'm, I'm here talking to you for free? Why, why do you think that? Because it's like it's inside me already. But why? It's natural. Why? Because now remember the circuits. I created for in the last five years, I created new circuits. I could activate the bad circuits in my brain of anger about politics, of fear about like uh, stealing, like danger in my city. I could reactivate that again. Those circuits, the, those old circuits or circuits about argument with someone, some, some of my friends. I could, I, I could activate that. But what's a secret that you should do as well is you just don't, you don't activate those circuits again. You're going to weaken 
those circuits. Or for example, fear. You're gonna weaken those circuits in your brain of anger. You can, how? How can you do this? How can I do that, Tiago? By creating and activating new circuits. Doing what, Tiago? Looking at things, listening to things that will make you better, a better person. That's the way. You're gonna create new circuits by, you're here with me, you're talking to me, you are still with me here, listening to me. That's the, this is right now what's happening inside your brain, only if you are 100% uh, uh, paying attention to what I'm saying, only, because remember, if you are just watching like whatever, you're always checking your notifications, you're hearing, you're gonna forget tomorrow. I'm telling you, this is science. Everything that if you are not focused, after 25 years old, the only way for you to create neuroplasticity in your brain is when you are active focus, is you are 100% focused. So uh, when you are in your childhood, you could learn by consequence, just like without paying attention, you could learn. Your kids learn everything by example, like just without even paying attention. They can learn that they have this power. We don't have this power anymore. Over 25 years old, we don't have this power anymore. What do I mean by that? You're going to remember what I'm talking to you here. You're going to have that chance to improve tomorrow and start changing your behavior and start looking at things differently only if you're paying attention here to me. Only. So that's the way that you should create new circuits in your brain. And remember, neurons together become stronger together. That's science. If you are creating new synapses, new connections between, between one neuron and another neuron, and then this neuron here sends an electricity of the, the information of saying, let's improve every single day. Every 30 minutes, every day, I'm going to do something for me to improve mentally. I'm going to watch Tiago's post. I'm going to uh, watch what my coach is telling me. So like, for example, if you are doing my program and if you have a specific coach, I'm going to stay closer to my coach. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna watch that for 30 minutes every single day. You are strengthening, you are creating new patterns and you are creating new synapses between one neuron. And that's a crazy thing. I did this for four years, for four, for five, five years. Now I feel that those circuits of wanting to improve, feeling mentally better, feeling strongly, uh, uh, mentally stronger, physically stronger, emotionally stronger, it looks like it's going, it, it's increased even more. I told my wife, I told, I said to this to Luana three days ago. I said this to Luana. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's a feeling that I have that I, I, it's even, it's hard to tell, to explain to you, but I really noticed that the way that I feel about myself changed like crazy in the last four years. I was talking to her about that. I was telling her because that, that, guys, it's, it's, it's crazy. You, you, you have to experience that. What's a step number one for you to start experiencing this? Forcing yourself to create new connections. Those connections, new, right? And remember, the way for you to always become healthier is all about what? It's all about you, like how are you reacting to the stressful situation around you? Your husband said something to you. You felt bad, but for how long? It's all about the timing. Because if someone come to me and say that someone in my family passed away, of course I'm gonna feel extremely sad, of course. You will feel sad, I'm gonna feel sad. If someone comes say, Tiago, uh, someone in your family or your friend passed away, I'm gonna feel extre extremely sad, right? But it's all about when you are having this mighty strong mindset, it's all about the timing, for how long. Because some people, some people, they are feeling sad for something really bad in their lives. They're really sad for 20 years. They didn't deal with the situation yet. They are not healed. They are still mentally sick. Something in their lives uh, happened 20 years ago. A divorce. But the person is still suffering today. Guys, the, 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 the magic, the most powerful thing for you to deal with the situation is about the timing. For how long are you having this bad emotion? It's all about that. Because all of us, we are going to have bad emotions. Don't expect that someone will have a, a, a perfect, will feel happy. Don't expect that everybody, no, not everybody, like someone in this planet feels extremely happy. Woo, let's go! At 6 a.m. Until, until 10 p.m. Like straight away, hi, 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 hi. Happiness, happiness, happiness. No, it doesn't, it's like, like I told you, it's like waves. If you know how to deal with your body, when you are going down, feeling a little bit, a little bit low, you, you know what to do and then you put yourself up again. 
It's, this is possible. But you need to, act, to understand that's like this. But the magic of life for you to feel really healthy, and that's the secret of another secret of the really healthy people, if it, it's going to be for how long you are feeling sad. For how long you feel stressed out with any situation. Are you feeling stressed out for two minutes? For example, your husband said, you are terrible. You are super fat. No, you are too ugly. No, that's your face is terrible. You can feel a- angry for two minutes or you can feel angry for 24 hours, for one day. That's the bad thing. If, it's, if you feel angry for one whole day, it means that's going to be really hard for you. But if you feel angry for two minutes, amazing. You did. It's not for you to delete that anger. You, it's okay to feel angry. It's okay to have fear. It's okay to feel stressed out. Of course it's okay, but it's all about the timing. The, sh- the more you shorten this period of time of anger, the more you shorten this period of time of uh, sadness, the better. It means that you're mentally stronger. Did you guys understand that? Because we are human beings. It's like waves. One time you are feeling better, another time you are feeling lazy, another time you are feeling angry because of the external things, right? Your, your kids yell in front of you. You are trying to concentrate to study. Your kids are yelling. You can feel okay. Wow, those kids, they have energy. Wow, I'm proud because my kids, they, they, look, really, they look healthy. They are yelling. Wow, they have, they have energy. Their lungs are really strong. So proud of my kids. You can have this perspective or you can, you can have the perspective of, oh my God, I don't deserve this. Why I deserve that? Why, I'm do- Why this happens with me? This is always happening. Always. Always. And then you are always complaining based on the things that are happening with you. This way, you will never feel happy. You can even try to, to do any program. Anything. You can try diet, you can try anything, but the way that you are looking to things around you, you can change the perspective, right? You can change the perspective. It's all about that, guys. It's always, it's all about that. Remember, the really healthy people, they shorten the time of pain, of sadness. Remember this. That's it. That's it. There's no secret. There's no secret. Got it? Let me see if there is anything else here because, uh, uh, they focus on getting rid. Yeah, yeah. They focus on getting rid of the bad emotion as fast as possible. And the last thing, guys, check this out. They prioritize themselves first. Really healthy people never prioritize other people first. It's always them first. Always you first. Of course, I understand when you are when you are mom. Your kids are everything to you. But you are never, I'm going to tell you, you will never take care of your kids more and better if you focus on yourself first. Because when you are feeling really, really good, you are really healthy, you are focused on yourself, you are super strong. How do you think that's the most powerful thing that your kids learn? Do you think that your kids learn when you are talking to him or by example? What do you think that's the most powerful thing for kids? Especially until seven years old. It's by example. Imagine what are you creating in your kid's mind, how fast, how strong your kids will become if your kids are looking at her mom say, wow, my mom's a super mom. Wow, she's eating this. Wow, everything, every, every stressful situation, she's dealing with that like properly. She looks strong. My mom, my mom is really strong. Your kids are looking at you. Your kids will absorb. Remember what I told you that the way that kids your kids can learn anything passively. Only kids can do this. Only kids. Because their brain, they are in theta brain wave. Their brain waves are different compared to our brain waves. So the best way for the kids to absorb anything is by is for the environment. And it's passively. If you are having, if you are taking care of your mom, you are taking care of yourself much, much better. You even don't need to talk to your kids or what you do. By example, your kids will see what you're doing and then they will do as well. Imagine, and then you can, you can even come to me and say, Tiago, my kids is terrible. I, I, I'm not healthy because I have two kids and they are crazy. They work, they, they put all the house like upside down. My kids are crazy. And I always ask them to eat salad or to eat fruits. I always ask them. And then when you look at, 
And then when I check her plate, the person is eating pizza. She is eating pasta. Your kids will never do what you are asking for. Your kids will do what you are doing. Because kids go more, they learn faster by example. By example, by attitude, by your behavior. Even the way that you speak, your tonality. Your kids can become more stressed out because of the way that you are talking. Kids are always looking at everything and they absorb extremely fast. Why do you think kids can learn three languages fast? And we struggle like crazy to learn one new language because of that their brain waves are different so guys remember it's all about that prioritize you first and then naturally you're gonna see everybody around you improving their lives because of you because you became the influencer more than by being influenced we are always influenced by everybody around us it's normal it's okay but the goal is to be always more influencer than influenced always always if you notice that is the opposite, you are not influencing anybody, or your influence really is like little, but you are always being, you are ha always having the influence of people around you. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. Got it? Okay, let's go to questions quick. Uh, thank you for taking the time for this lesson. Got a lot of helpful tips. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Great to hear. Speaking truth. Love it. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see your message. I'm a giver. Therefore, I struggle with putting myself first. Thank you for helping see a different perspective. Yes, exactly. Guys, you have no idea. If we start, because remember, it's all about secrets of the real, really healthy people. They always start the, their day preparing for the storm. Healthy people start the day preparing to the storm. If the storm will be your boss, if the storm will be your husband, if the storm will be your kids, because they have a, they have a lot of energy, if the storm will be anything in life, you need to pay a bill later. The storm will be a meeting. Healthy people, they prepare themselves before. They wake up preparing. They like, like, like they, they go to a, like a war of the day. How, Tiago? How prepare myself? Prioritizing you first. With, instead of talking to anybody in your, in your, talking to your husband, wake up five minutes earlier. Do like a meditation. Do your workout. Guys, workout in the morning is extremely powerful to your brain. To create, remember the neurons that I said to you? To create strong neurons of what? Of endure the pain and not giving up. When you exercise in the morning, first thing, you guys, you can work out for five minutes for you to create this. You can work out for 10 minutes. There is no excuse. Ah, Tiago, I, I, I don't have one hour to work out when I wake up. You don't need one hour. Five minutes, 10 minutes. Use that minute that you have. Do something that you feel uncomfortable. And while you are doing everything that you are feeling uncomfortable, boom, 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 start jumping, blah, blah, blah. And then like your heart rate is pumping more. You are feeling tired. Your, your muscles are burning. You are feeling uncomfortable. And at the same time, you are create, you are thinking to yourself, I'm becoming better. Yes, this is for me to feel fitter. Yeah, I'm going to have more energy after this. So you are creating. You are, uh, ch check what you are creating inside your brain when you are doing this. You wake up. First stimulus to your brain was what? Pain. Uncomfortable, Right? But at the same time, you are telling yourself, you are having the thought of, this is for me to improve. This is for me to improve. I'm going to improve. This is for me to feel healthier. This is for me to feel healthier. And then you are creating that experience, that thought with, the, with this experience. You are creating of what? Enduring the pain. You are teaching your brain of what? Okay. Every single time that she is having a painful situation in her day, she's going to endure that. Because this is what she taught me in the morning doing her workout. That's what you are teaching your brain. Every single time that you have a stressful situation, because when you work out, you're putting your body in stress. Your cortisol spikes when you are working out. It's normal. Heart's pumping, right? Heart rate is higher. You're feeling more tired. The muscles are burning. Your brain says, whoa, 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 discomfort, discomfort, discomfort. And then at the same time, you are, you are talking to yourself, okay, I'm gonna overcome this. I'm gonna finish this workout. It's a five minute workout, but I'm gonna do it. You are creating the command of, oh, all right, your brain will understand that. Okay, any stressful situation later, I'm going to deal with the situation better. I'm going to react to the situation better. Why? Because she gave this stimulus, this, this command to me in the morning when she did this exercise for five minutes. That's step number one for you to win the day. When you win the day, you're going to, you're more likely to win. Oh, when you win the morning, you are more likely to win the whole day. And then imagine, you are creating new circuits. Remember what I told you? Imagine when those circuits, there are a lot of 
new receptors. And the more receptors, what does it mean? The more sensitive. And now it's going to be just easier. You do what you should do. Why? Because you have a lot of receptors in your nerves already. A circuit of what? Overcoming pain. That was information. Because of your five-minute workout that you did, and you did this, you are doing this every single, every single day, now those neurons, there are a lot of receptors, they are extremely sensitive to any micro-stimulus. Now you don't need a big stimulus. Now you don't need that anymore. Now you just need a small stimulus for you to activate this circuit of endure the pain. What does it mean? It means that your boss can go with you and talk about anything with you, you are mentally stronger. Why? Because now you have strong neurons. Of what? Which kind of, which information are in those neurons? This connection of two neurons? Which information that you created? Endure the pain. Endure the stressful situations. Guys, and then that's the, the, the point. That's the, the, the strategy. Got it? And that's why I exercise in the morning is amazing. I always exercise in the morning. If I have five minutes, I do for five, five minutes. If I have 30 minutes, I do for 30 minutes. I do intense. I endure myself. I think about the goals that I want to achieve in life. And that's powerful because I'm associating what I want to achieve in life and that I'm overcoming that because I'm overcoming the pain that I'm feeling my muscle doing my exercise. Powerful. You have no idea how powerful it is. All right. Next comment. Oh, uh, any question? Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm learning. Oh, I'm, I'm reading what you guys are saying. Any question? Monday to Friday. That's so true. I go to gym at 5.30 a.m. Monday to Friday. That makes me feel so bad. Yeah, yes, this is powerful. If you go to the gym 5.30 a.m. But remember, guys, there is no excuse. You, if you cannot go to the, the gym, go work out in your room. Five minutes, ten minutes. Just put your body in discomfort because you are teaching your body this as well. Got it? If you cannot go to the gym. Because many people have this excuse. Ah, I cannot go to the gym. I'm busy. You don't need to go to the gym. Do for five minutes, you're going to feel better. You are teaching the same way. You are creating the same pattern in your neurons. Through, through, for, uh, through, yeah, through for life, through about people ringing through in the so awesome, awesome, awesome. I had been snapping on my son and since starting to take care of myself, good and exercise, I have had more patience. Exactly. Exactly. That's amazing. I had been snapping on my son and since starting to take care of myself, Good and exercise. I have had more patience. Guys, that's it, guys. You you learn, you are just creating new synapses in your neurons, creating new patterns of patience, creating new patterns of uh, resilience, creating new pa pa uh, patterns of calm down in bad in stressful situation, creating more different patterns, new connections in between neurons of overcoming bad situations, stressful situations. That's the, what you are creating. You need, guys, remember, you need to know if you don't, if you're not aware of this, you never have free will. You never have free will because you already, you created this part of bad circuits in your brain for 10 years. And the way is for you to, to do what I just told you. Because that's the way for you to change that, uh, uh, the way that you feel about life. The way that you, that you have, that, the, the, the way that you feel about yourself about people around, the way, the, the feeling, the feeling of feeling great is possible to anybody, anybody, but you need to create that. Don't expect that your body will create and then you need to feel motivated first. Big illusion. Never expect this. You're going to feel super frustrated if you expect motivation before. You can feel motivated. Motivation is all, oh, motivation, uh, uh, dopamine is released always when you're feeling motivated to do something. But in this situation that you're going to put your body in discomfort, you don't feel motivated to feel uncomfortable, right? You need to teach your body this. You need to teach your body. It's all about teaching. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. Wise words. Amazing, guys. Speaking truth. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for taking the time for this lesson. Guys, I love that. I'm a giver. Awesome, awesome. Guys, let me check a picture of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can take a picture, quick picture of this. I'm going to take a picture of you guys. Let me see if I can. it's going to be possible. To do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay with me. Let me see here. Let me take a picture. Roll. Awesome, awesome. Guys, that's it. Love this. Who else? Any question? Time to finish. 
So check this out. I'm gonna post this and then go to the, the comment and then, or the, the post and then put uh, self-love. Put the phrase, the, the comment, self-love. I'm gonna love to see that. Uh, about when your brain becomes an expert. Can you please post the quote about when your brain becomes an expert? Ah, uh, uh, good, good question, uh, Anna. I don't remember this part. When your brain becomes an expert. Ah, yes, I can, ah, I got it now, yeah, yeah. It was, I, I, I wrote down this. Let me see who else. Comments, comments, comments. Recommend any books on this subject? Ah, there are many. Uh, can you recommend any books on this subject? There are many, guys. So, I like... Can you guys see this? Yeah, okay, hold on. I like... I like this book, High Performance Habits, from Brandon Bouchard. Amazing. High Performance Habits. High Performance Habits. I love this one. There is a... a, a a book from Jim Quick as well that I, 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 I constantly, I repeat the books. I love reading again. Because remember, our brain, check this out, our brain will never, when you start learning something, you tend to remember more the beginning and the end and you tend to forget the middle. That's why it's always important to you. This life here, don't expect to remember everything if you don't rewatch that three times. You need to rewatch this life. You need to watch the replay, watch the replay. Otherwise, you never forget. Plus, Anything that you study that's something new in your brain that you don't have connections between each neuron yet because of new information, you tend to forget 24 hours later. Uh, uh, you tend to forget almost 70%. 24 hours later, almost 70%. That's why you need to rewatch. Don't expect that you're going to remember what I'm telling you here. You're going to forget. So rewatch. Watch again, okay? Cool. I miss this. Thank you, Tiago. Okay, awesome, awesome. Guys, amazing. Awesome. Guys, super proud of you guys. So any, I'm going to just try to see if I can uh, take a picture here, a print screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if it's going to work. I don't know. Awesome, awesome. I think that, that it worked. Perfect. Have a great day, guys. Remember, self-love. You are the priority. The only way for you to help people around you, your kids, your husband, your boss, to make this like you were born, to make this world better. Once you leave this world, the goal is to keep, uh, to let this uh, world better than when, we, when we, we arrived here. That's our goal, right? Do our part to make this world better, right? So, but how? By taking care of you first, always, always. Cool? Let's crush a day, have an amazing day. Hope you guys apply what I'm going to tell because this, this is a mission. I'm not talking here just because uh, Instagram or doing lives. It's because it's a mission. A mission. Like, it's a mission. And remember, check how is your spiritual health. Because many people, they're focused on food, healthy food, exercise and everything. But they're still feeling empty in their heart. Because they're not focused on what? It's strengthening their what? Their spiritual health. So every single day, I talk to God. Every single day, when I go to the park, I always make sure that I'm grateful in talking to God. God, thank you so much. I'm really happy. God, I look at myself and say, God, unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow. And then I touch the, the, the plants. You have no idea. I touch the plant. This morning, I did this. I went downstairs. I was touching the plant. I touched the, the, the tree. And then I said, wow, the texture. And then I, I was feeling grateful in talking to God. So, how's your relationship with God? This is crucial. That, that's why there are many people who are, have a lot of money, people who have beautiful family, amazing family, people who have food, people who are eating healthy, people who are exercising every day, but when you see the person feels empty, the person is going to a psychologist, is doing treatment anyways. The person is feeling empty. In, the, in her heart. Why? Guys, spiritual, your spiritual health is crucial. We are spiritual as well. You need to focus on this as well. That's crucial. I know you are. I know many people that are not taking care of this area. They even don't care. They even don't, don't care. They don't learn. They don't care about learning about this, about spiritual health. And they are not feeling, they don't live to the fullest. They exercise, they eat health, but they don't feel the best. 
They are not feeling amazing. Every single day, I need to stay close to God. Talking to God in my thoughts. Talking. I told you guys this already. Every single life, I, I say this. I all, the only way that I cry is when I'm talking to God. That's the only way. My wife, my wife just saw uh, I'm crying because I recorded something amazing happening in my life. I achieved something that I was that I was trying to achieve three weeks ago, and then I recorded crying because I, I started singing, singing uh, 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 like always worshiping God because I, I really believe in God. I'm super, super like super grateful for that, and I know that's the the that I feel like really strong mentally because my spiritual part is super strong as well. Super strong. I have no idea. Super strong. I want to give more because I know that's a mission. Like God gave to me. I was in the church when I was 17 years old in the church Sunday morning. Sunday morning. And then someone in the church told me that I would help a lot of people around the globe in their health. I even didn't know that I was, that was in 2000, 2005, beginning of 2005. Someone even didn't know. I was thinking to do, because my first degree is physical education in the university, federal university in, in Brazil. I was even, I didn't know, I was trying, I was thinking to do law because my family, there are many people who did a degree in law and I was thinking to do that as well. I was not thinking about like anything related to health. And then this person said this to me. It was like, you had no idea. It was like a, a light, an insight, like a, a, a something. It's like I found myself that specific day, Sunday morning. And then since that day, I, I'm feeling, I, I feel that I be, I'm becoming better, a better person. I have that feeling. And you have no idea. The more I'm having that feeling, I want to everybody have this feeling as well. You, it's, it's like, it's genuine. I really want my wife around me, my family, my parents, everybody. Someone that sent a message to me on, on, on Instagram. Because there are many coaches out there. You know that. There are many coaches out there. They just decided to coach because, because of money. Of course I like money. I, I'm, I'm an ambitious person. I want to succeed in my professional career. My program is not, is not cheap. Right? But this is not most, the most important to me. I achieved my goal three weeks ago and I was noting that, wow, the same happiness that I'm having now is the same happiness when I go to the park and I look to the birds and I reflect about life that I exist. It's the same, same happiness. I think that's why I noticed that I'm becoming better and that's why another reason why I want to give more. I want to give more. Cool? Self-respect, guys. Self-love. That's the priority and stay closer to God. Spiritual health, emotional health, physical health, and mental health. Those four areas in your life should be extremely strong for you to become a really healthy person. That's the secret of the really healthy people. Let's crush your day. Talk to you guys soon. For many of you guys, it's time to sleep, right? So I know that, that I talk a lot. Have an amazing day, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Let's see if I have any plans and walking barefoot, grass, or so Yeah, yeah, many things. It's your gift. Congratulations. You deserve greatness. Sending light and positive energy. Amazing, amazing. I love seeing your, your, your message, guys. So inspiring, Tiago. Awesome. Guys, have a great day. Let's crush. So remember, in, this, in my last post, just post self-love. Put this, self-love. Cool? Talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing day.